My adventures in Taiza? First destination, Rainbow Village! I was so excited! Being there in person, I could not stop smiling from the vibrant colors and lively atmosphere. But I was also very touched because of Rainbow Village's history. In the early 2000s, many redevelopment projects were occurring, and this village was originally going to be demolished. However, Huang Yongfu, a retired soldier, also widely known as Grandpa Rainbow, was determined to prevent this from happening. This place was Huang's home. It was originally a village with 1,200 households, and Huang said everybody used to get together like one big family, but then people moved away or passed away. By 2008, developers took up the majority of the homes in this village, and only 11 homes remained. His friends left one by one until he was the only resident left. He then received a letter from the government asking him to leave. So Grandpa Rainbow started painting. He started with a little bird in his bungalow, then cats, people, and more. Then his creations went onto the village's buildings and streets. Then, one night in 2010, a student from a nearby university saw Grandpa Rainbow and learned of his mission to save this village with his art. The students took pictures of the canvas and started a fundraising campaign to purchase as much paint for Huang. He also started a petition to protest the settlement's demolition. Grandpa Rainbow's impact quickly gained national attention. People were amazed by his passion and touched by these students who were trying to help him. Within months, Taizong's mayor received 80,000 emails from citizens urging him to preserve the village. In October 2010, the mayor ordered the remaining 11 buildings, streets, and surrounding areas to be preserved as a public park. Rainbow Village is now one of the most popular tourist destinations in Taiwan. Grandpa Rainbow passed away on January 23, 2024, but his legacy lives on. Rainbow Village shows the transformative power of art and continues to unite and uplift communities. May Grandpa Rainbow rest in peace. His creation brings joy to all who visit. Thank you Grandpa Rainbow for creating one of the most beautiful experiences of my life. This was one of my favorite destinations in Taiwan. Like most people who visit, I also created my own art card to contribute to your wall. Thank you to everyone who watches my videos for giving me the platform to share experiences and learnings I'm passionate about. What a wonderful experience, Grandpa Rainbow! I really hope to come back soon! Then I was off to the old Taizong train station. It was around Christmas time when I went, so I got to see a line-themed 16 meter high, 360 degree rotating pink Christmas tree. Brown and Coney from Lime Friends are holding Taizong specialty sun cakes and ice cream. And there's the old train station. Coming to Taiwan during Christmas time is very special. There's a lot of lights, special events, and at Taizong Old Train Station, there's a Christmas carnival. Here I'm walking around a market with around 40 booths consisting of arts, plants, dining, bakery, and more. So many bright lights! It's a replica of an old train! Now off to my next adventure! Love all these bright lights! I wanted to go to Miyahara! Today, Miyahara is famous for its ice cream and pastries. But historically, it was once the largest eye clinic in Taizong, built by the Japanese ophthalmologist Dr. Miyahara in 1927. It eventually became the Taizong Health Bureau. However, over time, the health bureau was slowly abandoned and became an unused, unsafe building. Fortunately, a pastry company known for its pineapple cakes, Dawn Cake, acquired the building and preserved Miyahara's historic red brick walls and archway. The interior was redesigned with inspiration from Hogwarts and Harry Potter. I really loved being there. The decorations were very beautiful, 
It was just too cold that day, so I will get ice cream next time. I was, however, really craving mochi. Fortunately, there is a mochi store across the street. Joyway Mochi offers a variety of flavors and shapes, which include red bean, taro, and peanut. Their mochi is made fresh in front of you, and there's fillings both inside and outside. Mochi Claw Machine! Love this place so much! And I ended the night with beautiful lights. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm so happy to be able to share my Taizo experience with everyone. The Mandarin version of this video has been released. There are also English subtitles. Hope to show Taiwan's beauty to more people. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Feel free to also subscribe if you're interested in seeing more videos I make. I'm a Taiwanese American who makes videos about my life and things I learned along the way. Thank you all so much for all of your support. Until next time, bye!